This is the Etsy Conversations podcast resource episode 140, and I'm your host, Ijama, and I thank you for joining me for this episode. And if you're wondering where the other 127 or so episodes are, you'll find them in the Etsy Conversations podcast premium community. Now, just in case you don't know already what that is, I recently announced that I'll be launching a premium community where I offer you audio summaries of the educational articles you get in the Etsy Seller Handbook and the Etsy Success Newsletter. So if you have a hard time keeping up with the latest and greatest strategies from selling or for rather selling successfully on Etsy, then you'll really benefit from becoming a member of this premium community because these audio summaries of the Etsy articles contain the strategies and techniques and information that comes directly from Etsy not me postulating about what I think might work on Etsy. So what I do is I read the emails, I read the articles, and then I summarize them for you and um, just make sure I distill them down to give you the actionable steps when appropriate. So all you have to do is listen and learn. And when you need to, Just log in to your Etsy account and follow the steps I outline if it's an episode which you need to take action on. If you've ever felt overwhelmed by all the information out there, I lay everything out for you in an organized fashion and I take the stress out, at least I try to take the stress out of learning and keeping up. And I know um, some of you have reached out to me and said, you just don't know where to start and you're overwhelmed. And I think this type of resource will really help you um, just get some focus and get organized and still get the valuable information that you want. Now, right now, I'm in the process of summarizing and recording hundreds of these articles for you. And there are really a lot. And so I, I want the the community to, when you come in, have um, a lot of information already in there for you, but organized in a way that you can easily start going through things. And so that's what I'm working on right now. And once I finish those, I'll open the doors Um, to the premium community, but rest assured that I will continue to add more audio summaries to the library on an ongoing basis because Etsy is constantly changing. And as you know, if you, if you get their emails every week, we get at least two emails from Etsy with new information and new educational articles. And so as these come out, I'll just summarize them, give you the cliff notes, and they will be ready for you in the library. Now, because this project takes considerably more time and effort than the regular Etsy Conversations podcast, I'm making these recorded summaries available only to members of my premium community. And membership to the premium community is open to everyone. And the cost when I launch will be $5 a month. And if you want to read more about this, but I've basically told you everything, you can go to convome.com forward slash read to me. And if you would like to be notified when the Um, when I open the doors, there's a form I have on that page and it just asks for your name and your email address. And I've asked that in the subject line, you put ping me when it's ready. So that way I, I will keep all those emails together. And then once I open the doors, I will just email you that time and say, hey, it's ready. You can come on in. And I want to thank you, um, everyone who has already filled out that form and expressed an interest and a desire to know when the doors open. Thank you for letting me know of your interest. Um, it just keeps me going as I create these and try and build a really nice and helpful community for you. And I will let you know once I open the doors. So 
that's the mystery behind this being episode 14. Actually, this is episode 140. Yeah, 140. And in this episode, actually, this is a special episode. I was going to release another one today instead. But if you're listening to this when it comes out, which is on March 17th, um, Etsy on yesterday, which was March 16th, announced that they're having a small business contest, the Etsy small business contest. And you basically get to share the story of your Etsy shop. And for doing that, in exchange for doing that, you could win $10,000. So here's the lowdown. This is kind of exciting news. So Etsy wants you to share what makes your Etsy shop one of a kind. And that's basically your entry. And the prize is $10,000. And Um, that money is supposed to help you scale your business. So you can talk about something that makes your, something that's unique about what you sell, or you can share a memorable story about how you started selling on Etsy or a special approach that you take to running your business. There's an application form on the entry page and, um, once you submit your entry, then essentially you have to go out and pound the proverbial pavement and get votes, just like a regular election. Because in this contest, the Etsy shop or the person with the most votes wins the $10,000. So it's not like they're going to read and pick the most inspiring or what have you, which, you know, I'm sure they want your story or whatever you submit to be inspiring. But the most votes wins the competition. And then there's another prize for the first runner up and that will be $3,000. So here's how you participate. So fill out the form and the form will ask you some questions and the questions basically are meant to introduce yourself and your business to the voters and the people who you're going to try to get to vote for you. You'll also on this form, use it to tell them, that's the people who are voting for you, why you should receive the prize. And to get to this form, you can go to convome.com forward slash Etsy contest 10K. That's it, um, it, um, convome.com forward slash Etsy contest 10, the number 10K. That will redirect you to the actual Etsy entry form. And the reason I did that is because the address for the actual entry page is longer and harder to remember. But if you want to go there directly, that URL is etsy.wishpond.com forward slash small dash business dash contest. So I thought the other one would be easier to remember. Okay, so that's step number one. Next, you'll need to upload two pictures one image will be of your business logo and then a second image that you feel best represents your business. Then when you submit your entry, you'll receive a unique voting URL. This URL is what you're going to use to start sharing with everybody and anybody. So you're going to need to get creative and get as many votes as you can. If you share your voting URL on social media, then remember to use the hashtags difference makes us and hashtag Etsy small business just to give it more exposure. And um, I assume that Etsy might, if the folks who do the social media might retweet them, I don't know. It didn't say that they would, but I'm guessing the reason they want you to use those hashtags is so that, um, one, people can find them easier and those are easy to, and, and they can be retweeted or posted. Or I don't know really, but anyway, that's what they suggest. Okay. Step number five. Well, it's not really a step. This is more of a precaution. And one of the rules, you cannot buy votes from anyone. And you also cannot give discounts or gifts in exchange for votes that is strictly prohibited. And if you do either of those things, 
you will be disqualified from the contest. Now, I know that there are sellers all over the world who sell on Etsy and you might be listening to this podcast now, but this contest is only open to residents of certain countries and those are the United States, including all 50 states and the District of Columbia, the United Kingdom, Canada, except residents of Quebec. I don't know why. Okay. And France, Germany, and Australia, those are the only ones who can enter the contest or who are eligible to enter the contest. Sorry, everyone else. Also, you must be 18 or older and have an active listing in an Etsy shop as of midnight Eastern Daytime or 4 a.m. Greenwich Mean Time on March 16th, 2017. So you can't just open an Etsy shop now just to enter. And there are a whole bunch of other eligibility requirements that you need to fulfill. And so to look at a complete list of all the official contest rules, I won't bore you with all of them here, but you should review them. They're available on a link. Um, you can uh, at the, the URL I gave you, which is convome.com forward slash Etsy contest 10 K. And, um, there's a link you can just hop over to the full contest, um, terms and conditions. I think they call it other things though, that I think you should know. So the contest runs from 12.01 a.m., which is just after midnight on March 16th, which was yesterday, 2017, until 11.59 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on April 6th, 2017. So if you're listening to this podcast anytime between March 16th, 2017 and midnight Eastern Time on, on April 6th, 2017, and you fit the criteria of the eligibility eligibility requirements, you can go ahead and enter this competition. Um, also, there's a, an FAQ page for frequently asked questions. Um, they do address a lot of other questions that might come up for you. So um, it's good to go ahead and read those. And then if you have any other questions that are not covered on their FAQ page, you can email Etsy small business contest at etsy.com. And they say you'll receive a response within two business days. Also, let's see. Um, they will announce the winners on April 7th, 2017. So essentially the day after your, um, the day after entries, after you can submit your, the final entry, or if not on April 7th of 2017, the earliest possible date after April 7th, 2017, once the winners have been contacted. So they'll let the winners know first and then they will announce it to everyone else. So if you want more information, there's lots more information about this. Go to convome.com forward slash Etsy contest 10 K. And like I said, you'll be redirected to the official Etsy small business contest homepage. Um, I don't get anything if you use my link to go through to go to it. I just thought it would be easier, an easier link for you to remember. Now, if you choose to enter the contest, I wish you the best of luck. And if you win, I would love to have you on the podcast as my guest to share your Etsy story and to discuss how you'll use the $10,000 to scale your business. So good luck and Godspeed. And I will be back um, with the next episode on Wednesday. It's going to be another resource episode. I'll give you a heads up. And um, it's all about taxes because we're getting to tax season if you're in the US. And um, there's some information that's really helpful for um, you as a business person, specifically an Etsy business owner filing taxes. And I hope it will be applicable to those of you who aren't in the US. And that will be on Wednesday next week. And I will be back then.